Are you looking to move to Crestview, Florida and wondering what's really going on in here? I've got questions about this area. Well, in this video, we're going to go over the, the most frequently asked questions about Crestview. That's right. I've got 10 of them coming at you to answer the things that you guys have asked us about and to just get it out there for you guys so that you can have the best information if you're looking to move to Crestview or the surrounding areas. So just a couple of things. What are we going to be covering? We're going to be talking about the average prices of homes in Crestview and where it's trending. We're going to talk about the cost of living. What's it like to live in Crestview? What's there to do? What sort of nightlife? We're going to cover that and a lot more in this video, so stick around. What's up, everybody? This is Tim Whittemore here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area that includes Crestview. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything that you need to know about our area. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video. So if you are moving here, you got some questions, need some help, get a hold of me, get a hold of my team here, give us a call, text, email, heck, shoot us that little paper airplane. Whatever you got to do, we got your back when moving here to the Fort Walton Beach, Destin, and Crestview area. So let's talk about Crestview. Where is Crestview located? If you're looking on the map, most people can find Destin pretty easily. If you can't find that, look between Pensacola and Panama City Beach. Boom, right in the center, right? And then what you can do is just look a bit north, all right, north of uh, Eglin Air Force Base, and then you'll see Crestview, all right? Crestview has a population of around 28,379. Yeah, it's pretty specific, right? That's what the census told me. And with this area, what is it known for? Well, first and foremost, it was originally known for its areas and access to things. They called it the hub city. And it's because they had rivers, they had railroads, they had obviously roadways and highways that went through there. Now, it's mainly going to be where the roadways go through. I-10 goes through Crestview, and that's kind of where the hub is, where everybody comes down to the Destin area. You'll probably drive through Crestview. It's also been known, and this is pretty interesting, as the icebox. Woo-hoo! This is the icebox. Yes, yeah, so prior military guy here worked in the Air Force, and it was always when we were out on the flight line. The flight line was always one of those places where all, you know, all the airplanes and stuff were at. And it was the hottest of any place and it was the coldest of any place. Now we get pretty hot here in Florida, but the, it does get cold in Northwest Florida. Crestview has historically been, if it's cold where you are in Fort Walton, Destin, Miramar, Navarre, it's colder, almost guaranteed in Crestview. <laughs> Is it really cold? It depends on where you're coming from. I can say that today it was 42 and we were all freezing. Okay. Moving on. So let's talk about our frequently asked questions. I'm going to review them real quick and then we'll hit them up. So number one is going to be where is the best place to move in Crestview? What is the average price of homes in Crestview? What's the cost of living? What are the schools like? We're going to talk about how far I am from the beach if you're in Crestview. What's living like in that area? What's the most common annoyance <laughs> for people in Crestview? Is there anything to do in Crestview? What's the nightlife like? And is Crestview growing? Is it worth going there? Okay, so let's go into question number one. Where's the best place to live in Crestview? Well, that's a loaded question, but I got it for you. <laughs> All right, so most of the people that I have helped move and purchase homes, sell homes in Crestview, a lot of which were on the southern side of it mainly because they had some sort of association with Fort Walton Beach or Eglin Air Force Base, Duke Field, 7th Group Army, wherever, south of that. And I have always told people if you are going to transit that area often, stay around I-10 or lower, you know, <laughs> you can go a little bit higher than that or lower than I-10 where it goes through the middle of Crestview and you should be in a pretty good position. The reason that I say that is that traffic can get pretty backed up on 87, which is the north-south highway that goes there. And any time between, gosh, 2, 3 o'clock until about 7 p.m., if you're on the north side transiting that, normally it could take you, 15 minutes could take you up to 45 to get home if you're on the north side. But if you're not gonna be moving or going back and forth from work south of Crestview where you're hitting I-10, you can live anywhere that you want to. It really depends on where you want to go. Crestview in general is pretty quiet 
very quaint, right? You're gonna have a lot more privacy when you go further north because you're gonna have bigger lots, things like that. Just something to think about. So what's the best place in my opinion? South of I-10, there you have it. Okay, number two, what is the average price for a home in Crestview? Right now, <laughs> at the end of 2023, our single family home median price was 320,000, which is amazing <laughs> for our area, right? Now that's a high all the way up to one mil, which was like a McMansion, right? And a low all the way down to 48, thousand which was a trailer that was falling apart i don't think you could have lived in there well, you could camp in it i guess so that's what you're going to be looking for if you want the best bang for your buck and you want to live close to dustin fort walton beach and the emerald coast area that's the best way to go in my personal opinion and that's what i always tell people is because you're going to get the newest home you're going to get the biggest lot and you're going to have the amenities that you want right there so if the house is the most important thing crestview is definitely the place to go you're just gonna have to travel to places. Okay, number three. What is the cost of living in Crestview? Well, I can break it all down for you, but if you look up the cost of living for any area, it's going to compare itself to the national average. Now, Crestview is pretty close to everything else as far as the national average is concerned. Now, a couple of things that you're gonna see that is a little bit higher is going to be more of transportation cost, just because of the cost of gas and things of that nature. And you're also gonna see actual housing is still north of the national average. Pretty much almost everything in Florida is gonna be north of the national average just because of its location, plus you know the desirability and the lack of places to go to, right? So cost of living, pretty much right on par, just a little bit high, but for Florida, it's actually a little bit below. Yeah, okay. All right, moving on to number four. What are the schools like for my kids? That's what I keep hearing. Now, if you look up on the different websites out there like niche.com and places like that, it's gonna give you a rating, an overall rating of B plus in Crestview. There are a couple of places that you can go, especially for the elementary school. And then of course you have Crestview High, you've got the same middle school that's going to be there. My suggestion for you to see if it's gonna be right for your kids is go onto niche.com, go onto these other places that have a forum. Niche.com was the best that people have told me that have had kids that age and goes, hey, you know, this is what the experience was like for my kids or what have you. It seems to be the best. So go with that reviews. I wouldn't rely so much on the ABC system necessarily, but see what people are saying and see if that's right for you. Overall, people don't have an overly bad opinion of the Crestview school system. Okay, number five. How far am I from the beach? Okay, so it really depends on where you're gonna go. Because to get down to the beach, more than likely you're gonna head south on Route 87 or Highway 87, whatever that is. And then it's gonna split. You can either head down to Fort Walton Beach or you can head down towards Niceville and into Destin. If you hit Destin, it's gonna cost you the bridge and then there's another roadway that's like another toll that you're gonna have to hit. When you go into there, you'll be able to hit Henderson Beach and you'll go to Crystal Beach as well and be in that Destin area. And if you head into Fort Walton Beach, you're gonna hit all the way down until Okaloosa Island and then head into Destin or go out to Navarre Beach. So what is the distance for that? You're looking at at least in the off season, 20, 25 minutes, depending upon where you are in Crestview. Peak hours, especially going into Destin, could take you upwards of an hour to get down there, or more depending upon how that traffic looks and what direction that you're going in the time of day. So realistically, I would guess around 30 to 45 minutes if I had to kind of put a general look on that depending upon the time of day and when you wanted to go down there, but you still have access to it. You're still pretty darn close to where you wanna go. Now you could still hit Niceville within 15 to 20 minutes, depending upon traffic, of course, I keep saying that, they're so, so true, but you can still get to Blue Water Bay and places like that if you would like. Okay, number six, what's it like living in Crestview? Is it happening place? Is it sleepy? What do we got? All right, so if you are gonna be living in Crestview, I actually had to call one of my past clients to ask him this question. And here's the words that he used to describe it. He said it was very quiet, quaint, said that there were a lot more retired military people, a little bit older in certain areas. It's the best bang for your buck. And I know I had mentioned this before, but this is his words, the best bang for your buck that you're gonna find to be living in that area. The key thing he said is that, well, traffic sucks on 85. <laughs> 
I may have said 87 earlier, it's actually 85, uh, which is that route, so sorry if I did that. On Highway 85, that's where you're going to have the biggest kind of bottleneck because they still haven't built out the highway and the areas to support it. Now do know that they are building out Crestview. So they have Antioch, they're building those out to a dual or four lane highway or roadway that's going through there. They're building out the Crestview Commons that are out there. So there's gonna be a little bit more for that, but it's still, if you want a place that's relaxed, this is the place to go. Number seven, what's the most common annoyance? in the residents of living in Crestview. Can you guess it? It's not aircraft noise, it's traffic. <laughs> and it's mostly transient traffic that is trying to get down or leaving from the Destin and Fort Walton Beach area. There you have it. All right, number eight, is there anything to do in Crestview? Yeah, there's a couple of things to do. Going out to eat is a big thing that you can do. There's plenty of chain restaurants that are continuing to grow. Last time I checked, they have the biggest square footage for Chick-fil-A in the, all of Okaloosa County. You know I go there. There's plenty of places to go. Restaurants is where you would go out if you were going to go for me and my friends, go out and have a beer. We'd go to one of these restaurants, sip some beers and maybe have something to eat and that'd be about it. But yeah, basically that. There's a movie theater up there. You also have a couple of dog parks. There's a splash pad actually south of I-10 for the kids. So that's going to be pretty good because it does get pretty warm. But that's that's really it. There are some nature trails and, thing, and parks and things that you can go to as well. Most of the time, though, you're probably packing it in and heading down to Destin or Fort Walton, heading over to Pensacola to go do what you want to do. Number nine was, what's the nightlife like? After I just described this in the sleepy town, there's really not a lot. <laughs> There are restaurants by the movie theater. I think it just changed. It's now El Paso Tacos and Tequila. I mean, it sounds delicious. I'm always down for tacos. There are a lot of restaurants and things like that that people go to. There are some dive bars throughout there. If that's your scene, you're gonna have, have a good time. So there are some places out there you can definitely check out. Nightlife, there's a roller skating rink with a bar in it too. Yeah, have fun with that, a little, little roller skating. Yeah, I always think of disco when I think of that. And I think there's a Chili's or an Applebee's. My brain's just not focusing on it. You can leave it in the comments below and call me out on it. I'm sure you will for the 87 versus 85 comment. But in any case, those are the places that people will go, you know, to kind of hang out. There was a place, Slovis, New Mexico, when I was in the military that we would go out to and wondered what the nightlife was there. And basically it was a Chili's. And <laughs> around, I think it was like nine o'clock or something, they would close half of the Chili's off and it became the nightclub. Club. I don't know if that still happens, but it was kind of sad. It's kind of the same way, maybe not that bad, but it was kind of the same feeling, okay, up, up in Crestview. All right, and last but not least, number 10, is Crestview growing? Yes, as we had mentioned before, they are growing out the Crestview Commons, which is kind of a play off of the Destin Commons. So they're gonna have some big box stores, better shopping, they're gonna have more restaurants out there. I believe they're doing like Texas Longhorns or something like that that they're putting there. There are new developments, there's new housing developments. So again, you're looking for those newer houses, right? With the bigger lots, like this is it. This is, this is where you're gonna get the best bang for your buck all throughout, especially in Northern Crestview. They're building out infrastructure as well to handle the traffic that are going back and forth. So it is growing. There's a lot of stuff that is happening up there, which is great. Realistically, I think it's a good investment. Again, just because of the military bases and everything else that are in there, even if you buy it to live and then you're leaving later. I know a lot of our military folks do that. You have a really good option of either getting equity out of it if you're purchasing a home or renting it out and using it as an income machine. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please give myself a call or anybody here on my team we'd love to help if you are moving here you got some questions need some help again just give us a call shoot us a text find us on social media whatever you got to do we've got your back from moving to Crestview and any of the surrounding areas here in the Dustin Fort Walt Beach area but again my name's Tim Whittemore I'm with the Whittemore group here with LPT Realty and we'll see you in our next video take care